Hey there, squad fam. I have a fast favor to ask of you. So usually at the end of the video, I usually say, hey, if you like this video, hit on the like button, comment, subscribe, things like that. But I'm going to ask you earlier in this video because I'm testing a YouTube algorithm. So if even if you like the video or dislike the video, I just want to see what YouTube does with this video with this little test. So please give this thing a really fast thumbs up right below. It takes half of a second uh, and I truly appreciate it. Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today we're gonna talk about three features on the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus that either were hidden from you or you forgot you're able to do. The first feature is a way that you're able to jot down a note really quick. So if you press and hold on the S Pen button, double tap on the screen, and it pops up a way that you're able to jot something down super quick. Now this is the same screen that pops up when you open up Air Command and you go to Create Note, but let's say that you don't want to go through those steps or maybe the S Pen was already out and Air Command was not opened, press and hold, double tap, and there you go, jot down your note, hit save, and move on. So this is just something that was there from the past Samsung Galaxy Note devices. I completely forgot until last night and I wanted to shoot this video today. The next feature that we'll talk about will be inside of the camera and it's a way that you're able to have a lock for your auto focus or auto exposure. So let's say that we just look at my little S Pen that's sitting right here. If you press and hold on the screen, you're gonna see a yellow circle pop up for auto focus and auto exposure. It's a way that you're able to keep whatever is inside that circle to always stay locked for the autofocus or the auto exposure. So you can see how this S Pen will always stay in focus as long as it's within inside of that little circle. But now let's say that we go through and I show you what happens for the auto exposure. So right now I'm just gonna take a picture of my light um, and you're gonna see that it's not gonna be really that clear. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of happening. Uh, and if you change the exposure, it'll be a better image. So all I'm gonna do is press and hold on the screen where my light source is at to change the exposure. So now you can see that the tone, the exposure of the image is much better. So if you're at a concert, if you're at a place where there is something super bright, press and hold on your bright source where it's lighter, it'll kind of uh, bring the brightness down around it so it has a better focus, a better lock, a better image. And a lot of times, this is what some of the Pixel phones automatically does, is it changes the brightness level. But this is where you can lock it in and get that better image. Instead of you manually doing it, just click on your light source. And if you're in a dark room and you want it to be brighter, then press and hold where it was dark and it'll brighten the entire image. But you're locking it into place because then you know, hey, this is the best shot to do. I'm gonna leave it and let it do its job. The third feature that we'll talk about today is a way to create a GIF based off of your burst shots. So if you go inside of your camera, underneath the settings, underneath the option here for hold shutter button two, select it for the middle, which is take burst shot. Now this will help you. It'll take multiple images really fast. You just press and hold on the shutter button. And if something is happening in front of you and you wanna get the best shot from it, this is a way that you take, let's say 15, 20 images, take the best one from it. So you have it at the exact moment, then you can share it. But what you're also able to do is create a GIF based off of those burst shots. So let's say that we just go inside of the camera and it states that if I was to press and hold, it's gonna create a GIF. Now this one's not gonna really be that great um, just because I'm really close to my subject, but let's say that I'm pressing and holding and I just took a bunch of, you know, a huge burst shot of my hand. Uh, well, as you go through here, you can figure out, you know, which one is the best picture that you wanna use, that you wanna put up on social media. Um, but also what you can do is when you're inside of this area to select your image that you would like to save. Now up here, you can see that there's three little dots and there was 52 images and you can create a GIF based off of those pictures. Now, right over here is where you can see all of the different individual pictures. You can delete a few of them if there's some that is just really bad and you don't want. You can also change the way that it looks if you want it to be a one by one, if you want it free form, uh, three by four, things like that. Um, here is your speed. So if you want it to be just a little bit faster faster. So this is really funny and it almost kind of looks like a movie, like a video recording. Um, but you know, if you're taking a picture of maybe somebody doing uh, the javelin throw or somebody jumping on a trampoline or something like that, uh, you can make some really cool videos. Uh, you can also make it go backwards. If you want it to be a reversed video, you can do it that way. If you want it to loop, you can also make it loop. And then over here, you can also uh, add in stickers, text, and you can draw. So if you want a drawing to happen along with the video, you can also do that as well. And then 
once you are done, let's say that we just want this to go a little bit faster, you can hit on save. And then once it's saved, you can go inside of the gallery. You can scroll down and underneath GIFs, this is everything that you've created and it's creating a GIF for you. So this was three features that were either hidden from you or you forgot you're able to do on the Galaxy Note 10 series. Hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this one a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video as well. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,